Hello folks, welcome to OperationFish.com. Today we are going to be talking about fishing Texas Bayou, but before we do, we have a little entertainment for our female followers. Let's have a poll. Right now we are having a contest between Channing Tatum, aka Magic Mike, versus none other than a true fisherman, Todd Hart, aka kayak fishing superstar wannabe, ladies man extraordinaire, and general badass on the dance floor. Who wins? You decide. Alright folks, check out that robot. Look at it go. I am pretty smooth. Here I am busting out the sprinkler. I even added my own step right there. Look at that return sound. No one in the world has that. What lady can resist the sprinkler? And then, look at that white man overbite. The hips in motion, the thumbs are glaring. Okay, okay, I know that was impressive, but let's get serious now. Let's talk about fishing. We are going to go to Texas Bayou, which is right on the border between Texas and Louisiana. It's about two hours from Houston. Tons and tons of marsh to explore. Uh, we'll be fishing with Jess Samsel. He works for Pradco. Uh, it's kind of intimidating because he travels the country fishing all over with some of the best fishermen and he's caught about every kind of fish you can think of. As you can see, I had to bring kayaks for him because he had traveled across the United States to get here. There's actually four kayaks on a truck. We got here bright and early that morning and you can see there was already someone down at the boat ramp. But we put the kayaks out and we kind of paddled up through the marsh. Here you can see Jeff looked up on the first fish. He was using uh, yum squirms, it's a slow sinking bait used for bass and he pulls out a nice hefty 25 plus inch trout and then I kind of went back and followed his example and I pulled one myself, not quite as big, I was using bomber jig heads but armed with a yum money minnow. It's kind of a great bait with a lot of action. I really like using this bait as well. Lots of different colors. I was using kind of a pearl with a little blue on the top. Pose for a lot of pictures. Pull that hook out and let's release him so he can swim away. And Hopefully we can catch him again another day. Be free, fishy. say he wasn't a monster but he is kind of thick and there you can see the bomber jig head and the money middle then I hooked up again on something else wasn't the most impressive of fish it was a small red fish but hey it was a very windy day it was forecast to have winds close to 30 miles an hour so we were looking for a place we could kind of be protected from those strong winds and again he bit on the bomber jig head armed with a money middle Let go of my bait, fishy. Be free. Grow up. Be bigger next time I catch you. Then Jeff hooked up on a flounder. He actually caught a few flounder here. That was his first one of the day. And again, he was using a squirm on a bomber jig head. Who would have thought that these bass baits would be tearing up the fish today? Then I hooked up on another red fish. I actually saw tons of tails today. We'd get up there and I would throw soft plastic, I'd throw top water. I even tried throwing a bomb, bomber paradise popping cork and that just scared him away. Then Jeff's son, Nathaniel, hooked up on a small red fish. And then you can see that was about it for the day. We didn't set the world on fire. Here you can see we have all four kayaks loaded up and we are going to begin our trip home. It was quite the load putting four kayaks on there. Well that's it folks. I hope you enjoyed our short video. If you like what you saw please click the like button and possibly even the subscribe button. Thank you. Operation Fish signing out.